Thanks, Jim. This is Justin Stone from EliteBaseball.tv coming to you with the tip of the week. And a frequent question I get around the cage is when should my son or daughter be ready for individualized or private instruction versus the group instruction or just practice that they're doing with their team or their coaches? And this is a different answer for every individual. And the first thing that I start with is, is your son or daughter mentally ready to learn? And what I mean by this, and, and I own a, a private facility and we do tons of lessons from starting at six years old all the way up to professional players. And sometimes that six, seven, and eight year old player comes in and just wants to have fun. And the, the parents are okay understanding that we're gonna get reps in, they're gonna learn a little bit, but they're just gonna increase their enjoyment of the game. And that's fine, that's okay if you have the disposable dollars in order to do so. But in reality, when are we really getting something out of the personalized instruction from the private instructor is when your child is ready to learn. And what I mean by that is do they have the mental capacity to really take in information, concentrate, digest that information, and then use it to some degree. And that's a different answer for every child. You know, for instance, I have a, a daughter that is just starting to hit the ball off t-ball and she runs around crazy and has the attention span of about six seconds. I don't fight that. She's not ready for my detailed private instruction yet. But sometimes you get really mature young kids that do really take in verbal cues and information well. They can take a demonstration from a coach see it, see that modeling, and then turn it into something like their own. So sometimes we get seven-year-olds that I feel like are really mentally capable of taking detailed instruction and getting something out of it. And sometimes the 10-year-old isn't ready for that. And really, you know your own son or daughter best. The higher energy kids in the batter's box uh, tend to have a little less uh, an easier time of seeing that coach demonstrate something or take in verbal cues, slow down and process it. The higher energy player wants to be active. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's kids being kids. But you do have players that are ready for that at a younger age. So that's the first thing I ask. Are they ready to learn? Number two, expectations when you first get to a private lesson. When the, I'm dealing with the youngest of athletes, I'm usually teaching them less about the swing or less about fielding a ground ball or throwing a baseball as much as I am learning or teaching them how to use their bodies. Just be better athletes. So we have to have some perception of what our body parts are doing in space before you're gonna be able to make fine tuning adjustments to a hitting or a throwing skill. So part of the stuff that I do is just basically uh, our basic dynamic movement. We do things without a baseball bat and I have players move on their own, critique that movement and give them just basic body movement drills because all that translates into what we're going to be doing in a specific baseball skill. You have to be able to do a gross body movement or body pattern before you're going to be able to manipulate a bat and a ball and produce a similar movement. So sometimes people say, well, wait a minute, we really didn't hit that much today in your first lesson. You talked a lot and we did a bunch of drills that were looked more like plyometrics because that's precisely what your son or daughter needed. The last piece of this is the drills that we take home. The prescription that I give for athletes when they leave the cage that day is specific to them. So coaches or, or parents often ask me, well, give me two or three drills I can do with my player at the age of six or seven that's gonna all of a sudden make them like Mike Trout. And it just doesn't work that way. I actually don't have a huge repertoire of drills that I go to every day and say, these are the ones that are the money makers and this is what's gonna take you to the next level. I do what the player needs. So it is based on individual need. Sometimes that's general athleticism. Sometimes it is a baseball specific or hitting drill, but it goes to the individual. So I don't like to make blanket statements of this is the end all be all of drills. There are certain ones that I go to on a daily basis because I think they accomplish a lot of things, but it is specific to your child's need. So those are three areas that you need to digest a little bit. Think about before you dive into the world of thinking the private instructor is gonna take that, that player to the next step. We wanna make sure that we're using and allocating our dollars wisely. So we have to make sure that our player is ready for private instruction before we dive in the cage one-on-one. -on -one. Until next time, this is Justin Stone from EliteBaseball.tv. Until next week, we'll see you on the field.